Jesus Christ, really? Don't forget to become a member of Unrelent Gaming's Patreon for exclusive manga content and early access. Isn't that right, Seth? I already joined his Patreon today. Tons of great stuff on there, actually. But did you really have to blow up the city? Mm, yes. You blew up the domino. You blew up the domino and you're laughing. Do you realize the f***ing crisis here? And you will be next. Unless you subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications right now. Or else what? You'll aggressively scream another man's name for several hours? Kakarot! Kakarot! Well, as much as I would hate to have seen the outcome of what is about to take place actually happen, I feared that it would ultimately come down to this because with Lord Grizzler's attention now fully directed towards our heroes, if the Saiyans aren't cunning enough to think of a strategy quickly and forge a plan to stop Lord Grizzlor in his tracks, then I'm afraid that no matter what it is that our heroes do out there, will it only be for nothing by the very end. As our story now continues following the initial events of Goku, Vegeta, and Broly's confrontation with Universe 17's God of Destruction, Grizzlor, in which following a brief altercation with Grizzlor now vowing to get back at Goku, Vegeta, and Broly for disturbing his hibernation was when Grizzlor then went on to respond, and so I'll just go and say that you mortals have made a very grave mistake by disrupting my hibernation preparation and interrupting my dinner when you did, for I never found any of Beerus's mortal warriors to ever be worthy of so much much of my time, but you three have earned my wrath, and now you are about to feel every bit of it while I devour you all and tear you all into dozens of tiny pieces. And if any one of you truly thinks that you have the necessary strength to try and stop me all by yourselves, Grizzler went on to then continue, then I would love to see either of you go and try, because during my time as a god, many of those who stood before me are no longer alive alive to recall the experience of their unimaginable failure, to which as Vegeta and Goku were then shown making their way towards Grizzlor was when Goku then went on to respond, well it looks like we don't have much of a choice anymore and so let's move in and give him all that we have so that way we can wear him down like we did with Lord Ferrix and be done with this. Well then you'd better stick and move then because I'm not going to have this backfire on us again, Vegeta responds, even if this god of destruction is the strongest among those whom we've battled against thus far far, but then, it was just within that very moment as Grizzlor was then shown having to run on all fours and dashing towards the Saiyans was when Grizzlor then went on to quickly respond, you little men are in for a world of pain, but before I decide to devour the two of you, I am going to start by devouring the weakest link among your group first, Grizzlor went on to then respond upon clotheslining both Goku and Vegeta, before I go and take my time in tearing your god-wielding bodies in half. And so now stay right where you both are while I go and take care of the common Saiyan with nothing to offer as my first victim. To where that was exactly what Grizzlor intended on doing because with Grizzlor then shown having to smash his way into Broly while having to drive him further back was when Angel Jinrei then went on to respond. Now I see, so Lord Grizzlor has chosen to go and target Broly as his first victim as it would seem as though he more than likely views Broly as dead weight likely due to the fact that Broly wasn't trained by the gods in this particular case, and so, Lord Grizzlor probably believes that by eliminating Broly will be a far easier task in clearing the path for a far more satisfying confrontation with Goku and Vegeta, Jinrei adds, as he ultimately intends to tear Broly apart and devour him first, in thus having to save the true challenge for a little later by going after the students of the gods themselves. And while I am a little curious to see on how these Saiyan mortals 
mortals are going to respond upon having to wage their battle against Lord Grizzlore. One thing that I will go and say is that Lord Grizzlore isn't known for being like any of the other gods of destruction that these mortals may have known before. Because if there is anything that Lord Grizzlore cannot utterly stand the sight of, it is when it just so happens to involve anything that has to do with his food. What? What the heck just happened? Vegeta went on to sit back up by rubbing his neck. Uh, did that god of destruction increase his speed at the very last second before making contact with us, or what? With Goku responding, I, I think he did, which only goes to show that he's a lot faster than what we gave him credit for, but we've got to go and get back out there and try to beat some reason into him before it's too late, Vegeta. To which this exact notion nearly became a reality moments later, because with Grizzlor then shown having to raise his body up by having to let out a ferocious roar was when Grizzlor then went on to shout, Now let this be what you take with you into the afterlife for daring to challenge my authority, Saiyan. As brutally enough now from out of nowhere with Grizzlor then shown having to chomp on down and having to further be shown biting on down and mauling Broly's entire right shoulder was when Vegeta then went on to quickly respond, New Kakarot, are you seeing what I'm seeing out there too? Is that God of Destruction attempting to try and eat Broly? Or is he seriously wanting to go through with this by trying to eat him? He's completely out of his mind and so we can't let him go through by doing this. Whoa, he was actually dead serious about what it was that he said about turning us into his lunch for delaying his hibernation. Goku then went on to quickly chime back in. But even now, we can't just stand around and watch him go and do this to Broly. And so now let's go, Vegeta, before it's too late. And try both Goku and Vegeta did because despite with Grizzlor's massive size, them being shown having to weigh Broly down and getting on top of him as he was continuously chewing on Broly's shoulder was when Jinrei then went on to chime in. Goodness, so oh, and well down the Saiyan goes. And while Lord Grizzlor's sheer weight and size will prove to be far too much for any of these mortal warriors to handle all on their own. And it's because of this that I have no doubt that this is going to mean the end of this Broly, even if the other two will try and attempt to go and save him, for they would already be too late in the end, but I wouldn't truly expect anything less from Lord Grizzlor, since he does have a very unusual habit of devouring his opponents' food during battle, rather than of course simply having to go as far as to utterly destroy them, and well unless he absolutely needs to, then we will see on how far this will go. To which even then, while Grizzlor kept Broly pinned down on the ground beneath him as Goku and Vegeta were then shown having to attack Grizzlor from behind was when Goku then went on to chime in. Girls, are you able to feel that too, Vegeta? And just what kind of a body does this god of destruction carry in order for him to be so sturdy like this? He didn't even move a muscle, but we've got to keep trying here as Vegeta went on to then respond. Oh, it's like punching into a wall here, but we've got to keep attacking him until he goes on to let go. Because if we don't hurry and move this giant piece of trash off of Broly, then he isn't going to make it, and so now get off of him, you lunatic! What's the matter with you? For I will not have you go and eat one of our own here, and so now let go of him, you coward! And as we can't continue to let you go through with this, and because of your actions, Goku went on to also chime in, we will go and use every measure that we can possibly find in order to stop you from further having to worsen this situation. But then, it was only just upon with Grizzlor then shown having to backhand Goku across the face and sending him flying backwards was when Grizzlor then went on to respond. You tiny men are really starting to annoy me with these embarrassing antics of yours. And so now stay out of my way and go wait your turn. To which as Goku was then shown crashing right in front of Angel Jinrei was when Jinrei then went on to respond. You know, I will admit that you mortals from the seventh universe are a crazy group of individuals to go off and challenge a god of destruction such as Grizzlor to a battle like this. For it was a grave and foolish mistake to provoke Grizzlor by demanding for him to answer your questions and by even going as far as to try to attack him. However, you Saiyans have severely underestimated Lord Grizzlor's power, and it was because of your bravado that has now led you all into a confrontation against him that you all, truthfully speaking, simply will not be 
able to win, Jinrei says, for it would have been wiser to let Lord Grizzlor simply have your meals, even if your meals were in fact ripped away from right under you, and because of this, now you and your companions will have to pay the ultimate price, but even now as you lie there with your face within the dirt below, it would be very much within your best interest to surrender now before you are all torn apart by Lord Grizzlor, because you and I both know that it'll only be a matter of time before he does, and so there is nothing that you can do about it, with Goku responding, and that's where you're wrong, because I know that we can all go and t turn this whole thing around in time, but holding on to a grudge and wanting to go and take it out on us isn't right, and so, because we represent Universe 7, and it's because we represent Lord Beerus and Whis that we will go and do whatever it is that we need to in order to go and fight to defend it until the end, with Jinrei responding, Oh, how very stubborn of you, mortal, for I can see that both your destroyer and my brother's willful traits have rubbed off on you, it seems. Yes, interesting, but still very much foolish, as you and your mortal allies have no idea on what you are going up against here. Which back on over with Grizzlor as Vegeta was shown quickly having to get behind him and having to attempt to choke him was when Vegeta then went on to quickly respond, Why, you overgrown barbaric bastard, get off of him! Have you completely lost your mind here or what? As you should have just left us all alone within Universe 16 because this is all your fault since you were the one who went and started this entire mess to begin with. And so now let go, God of Destruction! With Grizzlord then having to respond, Not a chance! Did you mortals truly think that I would submit myself and give in to your demands by just handing my dinner on over to you and run away? Well, keep dreaming because since your conniving little destroyer Beerus isn't here to take the punishment that I owe him for stealing my lunch during our destroyer's hide-and-go-seek game, then you three will do for now until I am able to get my hands on him again. And so therefore, the three of you may go and resist as many times and as hard as you would like to, Grizzlor continues, but I am going to crush all of you by the end of the day and do unto you as I have done unto so many of those before you. In which even despite with Broly attempting to attack Grizzlor from below, as Grizzlor went on to grab onto Broly's strike before headbutting him down and having to jump up in the sky was when Grizzlor then went on to continue, and since you thought that it would be a good idea to try and blindside me by using such ridiculously weak levels of power against me, then I want you to go and hold on to your heads because I am about to go and take you up for a ride, mortal. Uh, what the heck do you think you're doing, destroyer? Where are you going? With Grizzlor responding, isn't it obvious, tiny man? For it's like I said, since you wanted to go and choose to do this the hard way instead of just allowing for me to go and enjoy my meal, I am going to now see to this myself that all three of you are severely punished and utterly humiliated for daring to defy my authority, especially if it comes from Beerus's universe of all places, Grizzlor continues. And so now you will suffer the consequences of your pathetic actions and accept them as they come. Then to ensure that each of my meals are all freshly preserved for once this battle is over, whether you think that you're strong enough to survive what is about to happen to you or not doesn't matter, Grizzlor continues, because once you end up coming into contact with this next attack, will it ultimately be the very moment where you come to realize that you mortals simply had no chance. And so now witness what a fraction of my power truly feels like for yourself, Saiyan, as I will make sure to personally savor you for a much later time after I'm done. Now, Hakai! To which as Grizzlor was then shown launching a Hakai ball towards Broly was when Vegeta then went on to utter, uh, No! What are you doing? You can't! No, oh, no, it's just like when it was when Frieza had turned Lord Seedra's attack against me, Goku then went on to look on by shouting, Broly, don't try and come in contact with that! As he's going to try 
and consume you within the attack and eradicate you from within. But then, this had only now proven to be too late because with the gigantic explosion then shown having to take place behind Grizzlor, as Grizzlor went on to then shift his focus towards Vegeta, was when Grizzlor then went on to continue. And now that he's out of my way for the time being, since you felt the need to go and raise your voice and hand at me the way you did, I hereby am going to choose you to be the first of my main victims so that you may finally understand that even while you may have been trained by your thief of a god, that it still isn't going to change the outcome between us, especially with what you've decided to go and do. For this is my universe, and I am the one who sets the rules around here, and so therefore, this is for having your destroyer go and steal my lunch, Saiyan. Time to feed! But before Grizzlor was then shown having to take a bite in chomping on down at Vegeta's face, was where luckily enough now from out of nowhere with Mastered Ultra Instant Goku making the save and having to kick Grizzlor in the face was when Goku then went on to respond, That's enough, Destroyer! For as long as I am around, I cannot have you harm my friends like this, even if it means that I will have to fight you until the very end, Goku says. There, he almost took a chunk right out of you, but are you okay, Vegeta? With Vegeta sitting on up by responding, Oh, in all my time, in all my years, never did I ever find myself in a battle where someone was going to try and eat me of all things. But now that does it, because that won't fly. With Goku having to then respond, Listen, we can't just go and take this lightly anymore. And especially after seeing that this destroyer is willing to go to almost any length if it means getting what he wants. And so, we'll have to go and try to play this smart. Otherwise, we're goners, Vegeta. Bro, just look at him over there, Vegeta responds. He's making a mockery of us, Kakarot. They all have. Every last one of them in our situation now is no different, for we must find a way to wear him down before he can go and wear us down in the process. Yeah, I can see that, and although I have an idea that I know for sure will give us the best chance at surviving this, Goku says, I'm going to go and hold it off just in case there is nothing that we can do against him that will work, as Grizzlor then went on to wipe his mouth by responding, so you runts are a little tougher to bring down than the average mortal after all. Well, good, because I love it when my food attempts to try and fight a losing battle. As I am going to enjoy this far more than either of you can even begin to realize, and so come at me then, both of you. As Jinrei then went on to chime in, well now, how utterly foolish for those Saiyans to still want to continue to battle against Lord Grizzlor despite getting a small taste of just how ruthless he can be in battle, because with Broly out of the way, now his sights are set on tearing these two apart, and despite their impressive achievements and the divine powers that they currently wield, Jinrei continues, I've noticed that they are both still within the infancy of their mastery, for they do not have enough experience while wielding these powers yet to be noted as being worthy opponents all on their own. However, with Lord Grizzlor wielding eons upon eons of battle experience and relentless savagery under his belt, he will undoubtedly be an insurmountable challenge for either of them to overcome while alone, and while they are still relatively new to wielding such divine powers, Jinrei continues, their inexperience is slowly starting to show, for if they only had a little bit more time to go and master such powers, could they only then potentially pose a threat to Lord Grizzlor in this battle? However, as it currently stands, they are not yet at that supreme level, as Lord Grizzlor will more than likely toy with them for a little first in savoring their struggle before finishing them both off for good a little later on. But even while they still refuse to submit, I'm not sure on whether I'd want to admire them for their bravery or condemn them for their stupidity. But this battle is virtually all but finished in my eyes while I watch. But even now as I continue to do so, one thing that I will say, however, is despite with Bully being taken out of the equation for the time being, I can't help but sense something very odd about his power while unconscious, Jinrei continues. Because rather than feeling his power decreasing after taking such a brutal and devastating attack, his energy instead is slowly starting to increase as a result of all of this, and so I wonder on what this could mean, as it was only right then and there now during that moment, where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the resurrected fallen gods of destruction, the Universe 17 Saga manga chapter number 3 special, then comes to a close. Well actually I'll go ahead and
and take it from here as I do want to go as far as to address something very important with our dear viewers at the moment. As before I go and give you the following information, if you aren't already a member of Unreal's Patreon community, then you are truly missing out on so much without you even knowing. Because not only is the next episode already on the page, but if you want to support all of the manga content that you see and gain access to tons of exclusives along the way that range from a variety of different things, then we do encourage for you all to become members of our Patreon community today, for we will link everything down within the description box below and pinned comment section as well. Now I will go as far as to say that even though this entire situation between our heroes and Lord Grislor appears to be an extremely dangerous one, especially with Broly down for the count after nearly being mauled to death out there against Lord Grislor, the last thing that our heroes would want to do is find themselves being ripped apart one by one out there, which is why they would need to remain intact and together out there at all times. But now that something appears to be changing and shifting within Broly's spirit, you do not want to miss out on what is about to happen coming up next. So we hope that you all enjoyed today's video as before you leave. Do make sure to give this video a thumbs up by smashing that like button on your way out, as well as subscribing to Unreal Int Gaming's channel in case you are new around here. We thank you all for watching and hope you all have a wonderful day everyone as we'll see you all in the next one. Hello! Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unreal End Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video. <laughs>